All right, now the most epic, epic, epic tracks. Um, so the I Profess and Wasm track had a ton of mind-blowing uh, presentations and demos. Um, we, it was a whole discussion about um, all of what we have ever wanted about computation in hash-linked things. And we had many um, architecture discussions. So we started with um, just an intro to the whole model and what we talked about in the past. We had a really awesome demo from Adin going into um, working code today with Wasm IPLD and a codec working. Um, and that was pretty epic. Here, there were some awesome reactions. Kind of had to be there. Then there was a really good, um, I guess you can watch the recording. Uh, there was a pretty good FEM deep dive from uh, Steb and then his vision for Wasm and IPLD and lenses and data structures and whatnot. Uh, then we heard about uh, using IPFS and IPLD from Wasm um, and a whole set of like the interfaces and the stack that is powering all the uh, uh, Fission and WinFS and so on um, uh, stack. Then we had a mind-blowing talk about IPVM from Brooke, which was super awesome. And uh, she was expecting uh, a lot of people to uh, think this is super controversial. And we were all like, sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> so we, uh, uh, then we had a bunch of discussions about uh, many different uh, runtime possibilities. Oh, and autocodec. We also heard about um, an existing autocodec structure to wrap objects to be able to point to Wasm modules that uh, do all of the IPLD data model uh, translation. So that's uh, there and, and, and really awesome. Then we had a discussion around many different uh, architectural models for um, how to approach implementing IPVM. Um, we had uh, all, more demos um, about Rust LibP2P and Wasm. We had a, uh, we went into Aqua and the Aqua model for how to um, do uh, upgrading of systems that way, um, and Alfonso made a big pitch for doing using that. Uh, you know, implement once and and run everywhere. Um, and then we had a, an overview of Marine and the Wasm module linking uh, stack and how that works. Then we decided to not do planning that day when we were all exhausted and instead pushed it off to the next day. And uh, we were like, oh, I wonder what will come out of this. Well, we what came out of it is that we now have a working group assembled. Um, and we went through a ton of um, specific uh, project proposals that we that we want to have, um, and, and we articulated the the whole design space of, of things that we have to figure out. And we formed the group. We there's a bunch of work that we need to do uh, to um, you know, structure this project and so on. Uh, but ton of progress was made. Uh, we we're all feeling pretty pretty excited about it. So here's a bunch of the learnings and takeaways and action items. So um, first off, there's a bunch of models and thinking that we still need to evaluate and learn from. Um, specifically, there's some areas around capabilities and um, yeah, uh, capabilities in the execution layer. Um, there are a lot of different, there are a ton of different use cases for this. So what we can end up is a very um, general purpose, self-describing um, computational layer um, and invocation layer for uh, arbitrary compute and so on. Uh, we want to do a lot of this with uh, extremely concrete use cases in mind um, and early. So we want to kind of go towards implementing some working code with uh, components so we can start testing out candidate implementations uh, uh, quickly and not kind of like defer that to, to the future. Uh, there's a lot of uh, kind of shared goals here. Uh, many groups that are already doing all the stuff that are very aligned on where it should go. So there's a lot of potential for collaboration. Um, and so there's a lot of rough consensus has been achieved uh, very quickly, which is great. Uh, and we have some run, running code, but we don't have like the full running code. And that's where we need to get to. So action items for us include you know, the proper um, working group formation, so have some basics in terms of communication tools, forums, and so on. Um, we want to schedule some meetings, and we want to form a roadmap. Then we get, want to get concrete, which means defining the set of um, interesting and valuable demos to target. Um, then set kind of those in the roadmap uh, and get experience by building real things, learn from those and adjust specs over time. Uh, and there is some important model ex exploration that we need to do still. So capabilities, cross runtime, self-describing evocations, 
and um, arrive at a, a pretty strong uh, continent rest process model. Uh, here are some milestones. Um, so this quarter, we're gonna ship the IPVM working group and subgroups. Uh, there are some good, there's a good structure for two or three subgroups. Um, we, we wanna have a rough roadmap for IPVM and the sub projects. We want to communicate with the WASM community and with the Agora community because there's a lot of overlap in areas and a lot of shared work. Um, and then question marks. Uh, sometime we want to arrive at a rough IPVM spec, uh, certainly less than a year, at least some candidate spec uh, that we can kind of work through. Uh, we want to uh, define the, the, um, the invocation, um, what was the description, IPLI, IPIL? Yeah. Uh, what, what, what did it say? What do you mean? Linked link, link invocation. Um, yeah, so not linked data, linked invocation, linked computation. Um, and then we want to have a running IPVM implementation sometime soon with some strong, compelling demos. So we need to set some dates there, but uh, I was comfortable putting some question marks because we're way ahead on the working group formation and we're pretty excited about the tracks of work. Uh, that's it. Huge thank you. <laughs>